Welcome back everyone, N55 Morris with another video. And as you could probably tell with the big box beside me, we're in for another install. So without further ado, let's get right in. Again, with the big box, we have the VLAN GTS taillights. I didn't even completely unbox these, literally just looked at one, just to ensure everything was all right and everything was there. So you guys will be experiencing the full unboxing experience with me as well. As you can see, I opted for the smoked instead of the red. We all know the color of my car is the gray, so I do believe going the smoked would have been a better idea. If I don't like them, of course, with, I did purchase these on Amazon, so I do have a 30-day return. So if I install them, don't like them, and prefer the red, or even just prefer the pre-LCIs, of course, I can return them or exchange. Also comes with the user manual, but around here, I don't think we'll be needing that. So here we have it. This will be an easy install, so don't be afraid of all this stuff going around. All this really is, you just need to remove the under trunk liner as well as the side for the outer tail light. If you watch my video with the diffuser, you would have saw that. So let's get turned the camera to the car and let's get right into it. Once again, if you guys did see my diffuser video, to remove the outer portion. There is a clip here, but I remember when I first got the car, I'd leave, so I tried to remove it and broke it. And then on the other side, it's broken as well. Just, I got tired with the asymmetry. So once that's removed, the all you could see is a two 10 millimeter nuts. Once that's removed, put your fingers inside and try to wiggle the light out. Might be a little easier for me because of course the seal's broken of it sit in place for X amount of years because I did remove this light already. Once you pull it back, of course, unless this is for the diffuser once again, see the press tab clip. And then the tail, outer tail light is out just like that. So we're placing the trunk and out of the way. To remove the inner trunk liner, first you have to pop off, I guess the pillar guards, what you want to call them. They just press off. Open up, slide up and out. See, all it is is plastic, and I'll do the same thing for the other side. For the inner trunk liner, we now see the various Phillips, and these are T20s. So on a quick glance, I believe these are six. I believe now eight, as just some tucked away, and then this carpet should come out. So I will get to that now. So if you're unfamiliar of how these work, the screw in the center, the Phillips that we just undone, just holds the clip. So after you unscrew it, you could take either a metal pry tool or a plastic pry tool, and then just remove the entire clip assembly. Of course, it all depends which angle you get it from and as well as which tool will be the best. I know these ones are the hardest, so it probably wasn't the best to demonstrate on. However, it's all the same concept. Once you hook it in far enough, you can just pull it out. This is how it looks like. So I'll remove the rest and then pull the carpet out and then we shall work from there. Let's not forget the emergency trunk latch handle. There is the inner trunk carpet. Once you get underneath, there's another just pull clip tab. And one 10 millimeter nut. After that,
here is the second Ooh. inner taillight. Coming back over here on the bench, now that we have the factory taillights removed, we can see the GTS lights. So for the install, I believe this would just be a fuse in case it starts drawing too much power. Um, you see the two harnesses, as you can see, one of them says, or ooh, don't know if the camera's gonna catch it. There it is, 2013 and 2015. So I'll be using this one. As we know, my car's a 2014. And this, of course, would be for the 340s because it says 2016s and up. This wire actually connects to this light. You see the receptacle over here. This is for the uh, GTS sequence and for the full brake light that goes across. And this will be the same thing. Two different harnesses as well. They have, see they have their one fuse here. I guess they have a secondary fuse of some sort or resistor. I'm not 100% sure, but of course this will be, just mount this somewhere. They provide double sided tape so it doesn't jangle jangle. And once again, it installs the exact same way. Once again, if you did watch the diffuser install, the way I'm going to snake the wire for the continuous sequence will probably just be behind the weathering stripping, behind the carpet and the battery, and up the trunk post. Of course, while I'm installing, I'll show everyone what I am talking about. So for the install, once again, I'm probably just gonna mount this down here. I'm probably gonna do that first since this is a little longer comparative to the harnesses, of course. And then once again, with the sequence light, I'll probably slip behind here and through the carpet on the other side. So let me get right to that. See where around the wires, once again, out through here and up. Zip ties are just held in loosely for now to make sure everything works. And now this is right next to the connector to plug in the inner tail light. The way the inner tail lights install, just like the factory, this clip goes in first from the inner and then you push it to the side and then this top pin shall align. few edits of how I installed it as well. As you can see, I disconnected this because it was actually pinching, as well as the bracket, as I previously mentioned, thinking that we were going to reinstall it on this light, actually doesn't fit, as well as it comes with its own bracket here. So this is, you have to take this off and put the headlight in, just from the left, from the, I guess in our case, right from the left, feed the bracket in, but do not attach, and then pop it down. So of course what we heard was a false click and it didn't seat all the way. But now that we have the bracket in, as we could clearly see, we shall reattach that as well as hook up all the wires and we shall give it one last test. We have the right side in. I'll give everybody a little sneak peek of how it operates. We now saw the smoke 
GTS taillights from VLAN install on my F3335i. I love this mod and I personally think it's actually a great purchase, especially if you want to spice up the rear end of your vehicle. As you know, they have the smoked and the, and the red. So whatever you think suits your car the best, you should definitely go with it. Plus it's Amazon, so if you really don't like it in 30 days, you always can return it. Once again, N55 Morris, thank you everybody for tuning in and I hope to catch you guys all on the next one. Take care.